Hey guys, I am here with Frank Scarborough, and today he's going to be talking a little bit about what should new business owners know before they choose a credit card processing company. So I will hand it over to Frank to take it from here. Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you, Carrington. So my name is Frank Scarborough, and for the last 25 years, uh, me and my, my team and I have been advisors in the electronic payments industry or merchant services. So we're not a credit card processing company. What we uh, provide to the business owner is uh, steering them through the, the pitfalls about processing companies. So we're not here to sell you on any one type of processing company. You know, there's, there's millions of them. In our opinion, there's no such thing as a bad processing company because they all do the same thing, which is process your sale. However, there's a very different method or methodology that each processing company is going to use to assess credit card fees. And that's where it becomes very mumbo jumbo and trying to understand all the different terminology, such as if two processing companies are, are, are telling you that one of them is gonna charge you 1.4%, the other one's gonna charge you 1.7%, okay, obviously 1.4% is less than 1.7, so why pay 1.7 if you can get the same thing for 1.4? That makes sense. However, here's what has not been properly explained to you. You're presuming that 1.4% covers every transaction. It doesn't. When you process someone's credit card that has rewards points, that 1.4 may come with an additional 1%, whereas the 1.7 doesn't. So now you realize that 1.7 is actually less than 1.4. That's impossible. No, it's not. In the credit card world, it's very possible. The, the example that I use for people is, let's do a quick math calculation. Five times three is 15. Add two more is 17. What if we did that backwards? Two plus three is five times five is 25. You have the exact same equation with the exact set of numbers just being done in a different way. You, the business owner, presume they're doing five times three plus two. But the price model the processing company set up for you is just the opposite. And now you get stuck paying that bill. The other part of this is understanding all the different business classifications. So many businesses can fall into different business classifications real quickly. Just take something as simple as an automobile repair shop. Well, they fix cars, that's a service. They also sell parts. They could sell cars. There's different ways those fees can be assessed based on how your processing company has established the account. So there's a lot more to picking the processing company other than who has the lowest rate. 99 times out of 98, when you only go with who has the lowest rate, you always pay more than anyone else. So if you have any other questions, please, uh, please let me know. Thank you.